whether you are aware of it or not. It is by His mercy you are alive today. Lord, I thank you for classifying me among those who have obtained mercy. I thank you for mercy over me, my family, the church of God, over everyone here, viewers online. Lord, we thank you for your mercy. better off than those who are in the prison. You are not better off than those on the street. It is by his mercy. It is by his mercy. It is by his mercy. What about the mad people walking on the street? What about the homeless ones? Some people have mouth but couldn't hit. Some have eyes widely open, yet they couldn't see. Some couldn't excrete. Some couldn't urinate. But here you have feeling too big, feeling purpose. Do you realize there are thousands of people? That strongly wish to be in church this morning. But they couldn't walk. We are not thanking for his mercy. Thank you for his mercy. Many are more beautiful than you, many are more handsome than you. Some people are crying, say, Lord, take away this money. Give me peace. Give me rest of mine. by his mercy. Here you are complaining. I have no money. What about your life? How much have you paid? What about the good health? You're going out, you're coming here. How much have you paid? You have been disappointed, delayed, denier. You have been refused visa. But here you are. You are still basking. Thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your mercy. 
I thank you for your mercy. Jam your hands together for that. Thank you, Jesus. I believe, member, all the uh, workers and ministers, remember, the fact that remain the same, most especially the music department, all eyes are on you. I will keep saying this for you to know that it is very serious. And it applies to every workers and ministers, too. Our brother, come. Come. I overheard your experience. Let us pray for him. This is a child of destiny. A child of destiny. Shall we rise, church? Be on your knees, sir. Let us pray for him. That God, the remaining face of his life. Father, let your son manifest greatness. Open your mouth for him. Pray for him. Pray for his family. We pray for you, sir. The remaining face of your life shall be for greatness. The remaining face of your life shall be for an ultimate greatness. In the name of Jesus, everything you might have lost. I pray for you this morning, sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold restorations. Sevenfold restorations. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. You may be seated at church. I think I was, I listened to the old teaching. God bless you, Mr. Nancy. All the contributors, God will bless you. God will increase you richly, graciously and gloriously in the name of Jesus. And I would love to make a comment concerning Apostle Adebayo's concerns. Let me ship in this. Thank God we have men of God in the house. I've said this time without number, um, different people, different strokes. God is a mystery and he works in a mysterious way. And then, for an instance, there is a way of manner God uses his people. Yeah, for an instance, of blessed memory of our Father and the Lord, Pastor Tawu Dukoya of the Family Life Church. I could remember vividly when he was alive. When the Holy Spirit saw him, he would start feeling, his hand would start vibrating. And immediately he would say, someone is here. You're having a problem with your hand. Stretch it. <laughs> so there are some people like that. And then you will see the person screaming. And healing will manifest his tantrum. So, God is a mystery work in a mysterious way. Some people do have itching hairs. M person like me, I don't need to pray for you before I start saying many things about you. Because my heart connects the Holy Spirit with ease. What am I saying in essence? Yes, another person could be scratching of head. Some, it could be scratching of the palm. I was praying for some... <laughs> I pray for some sometimes. I always pray start with, I should tell the person to open his palm. And I started telling the person some things. I just started looking at me. If you are, no, if you are the person that didn't know me very well, you thought I'm a palm reader or stargazer. <laughs> so that is why the scripture recorded, John 14, 26, John 15, 26, there are those which I teach you all things. Uh, so no matter how we debate it, no matter how we discuss it. You can't discuss God. You can't. That's why I've said this time without number. Don't make any man of God your standard. You fall into error. That's why you see our father, with due respect to him, that you're coming back to apologize. <laughs> There's no perfect man of God anywhere. <laughs> God is only using us as an instrument, and that is basic. Just make sure it's the spirit of God. And if you are deceiving people, it's a matter of time. Time will tell. So, but taking or saying this is the standard is a big lie. It's a mystery. It works in a mysterious way. I've told a time without number. It was in 2009 or 10. 
Baba Kalejaye was at Pastor Femi Emmanuel. When in time, I found out Pastor Emmanuel is having his birthday. You know, they were very, very close. Only Baba Kalejaye that usually come to pray for him. They were very, very close. And Baba Kalejaye said, before he left his house, that he was ministering somewhere, he used to minister to him that that altar you are going, by the time you mount the altar, just be rolling on the altar. Be rolling, be rolling. Left and right. <laughs> Upside down. So immediately climbed the altar. That was what he did. If he's trying to dignify himself, I'm telling you, nothing will happen. And during the course of administration, he said, a mad person from nowhere jumped from the congregation and started walking towards the altar. And the mad person came to the altar, knelt down, and he lay hands. And the spirit of madness left. I thought you appreciate Jesus. <laughs> so that's why if you, if you call yourself a child of God, you must have the spirit of God. And you must be spirit-led. Yeah. That's not where I'm going this morning. I think I just have to say something about that. And that's the reason why many people are confused. How will you discuss God? Preach God when you are not spiritual. It's not possible. It's not philosophy. It's in your Bible. It's not psychology. It's hundred percent spirit. It's spiritual. The teaching this morning. I don't even need to read, or, but I believe it's this teaching is meant for all of us. It sounds simple but very loaded. And then the reason why. I've said this time without number. I don't know of other people, but this is my own belief system. I believe every individual can make it in life. I stand to be corrected, but I'm saying it with the conviction. As a matter of fact, whether you go to school or don't go to school, the problem with many of us is lack of discovery. Everybody can make it big in life. And that's one of the uh, basic reasons why I can never be jealous envious, hate, or no. If you see me speaking out way the only way, I'm speaking out of love. Because what's the essence of you coming to this world without fulfilling, without making impact? And the danger lies in the fact that 99% of man, no matter how we preach, we never, not may never, we never be fulfilled in life and in destiny. Because this mandate called destiny is a personal thing. Our life is full of choices. One can take a horse to the water. Billions cannot force the horse to drink water. This teaching is so powerful. You may not like it, but whether you like it or not, you have to love it. <laughs> it's tied to you must be used to be useful. Look at the way you are appreciating God. You must be what? You must be used to be useful. Check all over the world. Check all over the world. Scratch all over the world. Comb all over the world. If you see anybody at the top, that somebody, that anybody was once upon a time used. Yes or no? Dangote is the richest man in Africa. Mind you, he was once upon a time member of staff of Dan Tata, his uncle. Yeah, as Shaj Balame Tunubu, our present president, was once upon a time a protege of Chief M.K. Wabiola. It's a must, whether you like it or not. That's why, if you are not an humble person, there's no how you will not fumble. There's no how you will not stumble. There's no how you will not crumble and eventually crash. 
And the scripture is final. No wonder the Bible says, God resists the proud. Which is a pointer to the fact that you must be used to be useful. When it comes to destiny, I'm trying. Ha. If I analyze it for you, your head will go open. But unfortunately, many of us, due to our ignorance, we believe that people are taking advantage of us. No. It's a must. You must be used to be useful. In business, it's the same thing. Ministry is the same thing. Career is the same thing. Academics is the same thing. Mention it. Because nobody jump from the bottom to the top. You climb. I don't want anybody to use, including men of God. Maybe you have heard me. Time without number. I've never seen any man of God that have not been used. <laughs> How is Baba Devo? You must be used to be used. Or else you will never be useful. Because God wishes to pray for hundreds of people. It's only one or two that will come back to say thank you. It happens to Jesus Christ. So it's not a new thing. So this message is about your life. 2024. Is running to a close. Do something. Swallow your pride. You have only one life to live. Live it well. You must be used to be useful. Even in marriage, is it that the husband is using the wife or the wife is using the husband? So if you don't have anybody that is using you, go out and look for someone that will use you. If you want to be useful, that's 100% true. But the reason why many people are likely to get it wrong or not getting the best out of it lies in their stupidity, foolishness, and ignorance. And that is 100% true. I will show us in the Bible. But for the mere fact that you and I are alive is an indication that your destiny is very much intact. Anytime I remember that, it gives me joy. Joy unspeakable, joy unlimited. Because of time, I won't be able to read the introduction. But let me say these few things. Okay, if you have not been used, you may, you may remain useless. And when you are useless, you will be valueless. All right. Someone duped you for the first time. Another person duped you, making the second time. The third time, you are duped again. Let the fourth time or the fourth person comes. Will the person succeed? If you are wise. <laughs> because experience is the best teacher. But that is subject to the fact that if you choose to pick up lessons, from your past experiences. Because you are, the person has been used first time, second time, third time. So naturally speaking, normally speaking, the person needs to form a barricade inside himself, outside himself, and around himself. It must come with a conviction that this nonsense must stop. D. 
the essence of this message is for you to get the best out of what you are doing. In business, career, ministry. For the first time, I had it, I don't know if I'm more than a lot will remember. That was 2005, we were at Success Summit of Pastor Matthew Shimolaw. And he said, Hey, all you pastors going to Bible college, stop wasting your time. No Bible college or seminary will make you a pastor. I adjusted myself. He said, Go and submit, go for training. Go for training. 100% true. If you are well trained, you will reign well. You must be used to be useful. As a married woman, if your husband used you, indirectly to him, he's training you to become useful to yourself, to your children, to your family, and to the society at large. And the same applies to the husband too. Because there are some husbands too that the wife are using and still using. The wife says, shut up. The wife says, sorry, man. Why is it that many people find it difficult to humble themselves to be used? Number one, very simple. Very, very simple. Those are the people that fail to realize or discover destiny on time. Now I've been shouting on this. When it comes to destiny, I prefer, this may sound erroneous, but it's a bitter truth. When it comes to destiny, I prefer people of the world than Christians and Muslims. Except those Christians and Muslims who are spiritually inclined. For an instance, let's assume this is my baby. Come, damn Let's assume this is my baby. And I was, okay. And our mother and the Lord happens to be an Ifa priest. I was, ah, mommy, this is my first child. What is the deity saying about her? She put out her oracle, do some stuff. In the process, she will, she's still young, let's assume she's still a child or a toddler. If I'm a good father, the first priest will analyze some things to me. Yes or no? Uh, that tell your daughter, don't feed her with this, and by the time she grows up, she must not do this, do that. In the process, you will see everything about her turning around, working according to praise God. But how many Christians are spiritually inclined? God bless you. That's why you have to be very careful. This has been the major reason why many Christians are full of lamentations. Can you tell me things about your child or about your children? You are just basing everything on confession. You are just quoting scripture. Maybe you don't know. The scripture you are quoting that you do not understand we bring unto you fracture and not structure. That's the truth. That's one of the basic reasons why people are confused today, including Christians. Many Christians are suffering because they are used to eating what is a taboo to them. A war. You are feeding your destiny with poison. It's not every man that can fornicate. I'm telling you the truth. It's not every woman that can fornicate. Your star will be going down. Wow. I'm telling you the truth. It's not every woman being that can be lying. 
You just notice that your things are downsizing. And God is not an author of confusion. Go and read your Bible. Right from the womb, the Lord has attached an angel to you. So the first thing you will discover after God is yourself. The most important thing to you is your guiding angel. After that, the most important person in your life is someone, is an angel in front of a human being. Someone that will be telling you the truth and nothing but the truth. You are the most important person on earth. You are the big gate. Oh, my Lord, looking at you. Seriously. So if you have made the mistake, don't allow your children to make the mistake. That's why you see Christians frustrated. Most especially you women. In fact, women are the most delicate. Oh, let me shock you. When it comes to sexual intercourse, women lose a lot than men. But they didn't know. <laughs> they didn't know. <laughs> it affects women than men. I'm a little bit spiritual. That's why marriage is killing many women today. Because many people got married for trivial reasons. <laughs> Not spiritual reasons, trivial reasons. And this marriage we are talking about was divinely established by God. So if you pick outside God, you are already outside your destiny. Understanding spiritual things give you spiritual solution to spiritual problems. End time is fast approaching. So if you have spiritual understanding, you will agree with me that the person, because if you don't have spiritual understanding, <laughs> you will fight your Elijah. <laughs> you don't have spiritual understanding. Your Paul, your Timothy, will fight his Paul. So this is end time. It's high time we wake up. We, we all need spiritual awakening. Theology has destroyed many people. Religion has destroyed many people. Because we have abandoned the written. We are busy pursuing the unwritten. I'm telling you what I know. There are some people that are guiding angels. Eight lies. Immediately you start lying. You see your guide come. Let's assume this is quiet here and I'm our guiding angel. Immediately she starts lying, first and second time, you see the guiding angel removing his hand. Removing his hand. Because she has started feeding her destiny with poison, with a taboo. A war. Immediately, the guiding angel started having a drawback. She would dream like, can two work together except they agree? And before you know it, we shifting ground. Let me shock you. This will sound very bitter. Until you open channels, no demon can enter. No demon can enter. No demon can enter. So ignorantly, we do open channels. Try it. Life is practical. I don't know why I diversify into that. The message is you must be used to be useful. It's a must. But adventure, you have a boss that does not appreciate or is not ready to appreciate. Don't worry. Your destiny is in your hand, not in your boss's hand. A good example is that evil billionaire, Cosmas Maduka. Primary school. Certificate career. You see pastors with PhD professor inviting to come and preach in their church. 
traveling all over the world. It's controlling billions. Through the help of the Holy Spirit, he made profit of 14 billion within 24 hours. Destiny now. Listen to me. Your greatest enemy is anybody that is doing anything that will thwart your destiny. <laughs> your certificate is useless <laughs> when you fail to realize this spiritual truth. Nobody cares. Go and Google his name. You see Pastor PhD. Invite him all over the world. He just finished, I think he's having a seminar. It's called, uh, 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 what's it called, Billionaire something. He's one of the guest speakers. He's raining in a primary school. That's the only Nigerian that any bank in America will give loan without asking for collateral. Yet, he was a primary school. He labor with his boss. And when it is time for his boss to say, oh, my dear servant, let me set you apart. The boss gave him money to eat for him to start his business. And he said, look at the money. He said, ah, which can you stress like be this? The money can only afford him to eat. So he used the money to eat. He now started afresh. Juma can start afresh. I'm telling you, you are the best woman be on head. The problem is that most of our pastors are not telling us the truth. I'm telling you what I know. I know spiritual things small, small. Because most of our women believe it is men that lose. No. No. It is women that lose a great deal. Most especially if the man is a carrier of negative spirit. <laughs> he will deposit negative to the side of you. And before you know it, people will just be giving you prophecy. Good, good prophecy. Good, good prophecy. Nine nice prophecy. It will never come to pass. And men are seeing you very beautiful. You're very beautiful. Very beautiful. And they are running after you. I'm telling you, those good, good, nine nice prophets never come to pass. Because we have distributed it. Okay, let us see a big, uh, Bible case scenario. I emphasize the title of my message is you, it is a must. You must be used to be useful. Hmm. Go and submit yourself to someone that will use you. If you want to be useful. The reason why many people are finding it difficult is because they fail to realize destiny on time. This is a clarion call to all the mothers and fathers in the house. Tell me what you know about your children. Yes, from the first one to the last one. I'm not making out. I can beat my chest. Only that I won't say it publicly. A good example. Okay, let me say this. I won't go into details. A good example. Um, our first child. There's something that happened, and I told Pastor Mrs. She, as I told Pastor, say, leave her alone. Just leave her alone. If it is God, if it is God, God will take absolute control. Just leave her alone. Suddenly, at first I just changed that she wants to do so so course. I've forgotten the course. Suddenly, Pastor Miss became worse. Hey, this is what I look at on share. You are gone, man. She was gone, man, for more long, she led you. I emphasize understanding spiritual things guarantees spiritual solution to spiritual problems. If you are not spiritual, you'll be struggling. Your struggle will turn to laboring. Laboring will turn to toiling. Because on to wala And I told the person, just leave it. And at the end of the day, what I desire, what she desire, eventually was what she eventually said to for. Clap for Jesus. So be careful. Be careful. You must be used to be useful. So the reason why many of us are feeling purpose, why you see some people, we do respect. You have, you have you've seen some people, they learn, some learn tailoring, some from tailoring, they've learned auto mechanic from auto mechanic, they've learned carpentry from carpentry, but I did not they now come for prayer. I'm saying, ah, Say, madam, if I think it's about two weeks ago, you learned something. He said, I didn't learn anything. Ah, 
As I'm seeing you learn something. What did I saw? I could see it. It was the old man now said, eh, ah, she will cock it tree. <laughs> what do I think about people cock it tree? <laughs> Can you see? And I told Oga, I said, Oga, thank God you help your wife. Tell your wife to go back to Ketri. If you don't discover destiny, every road will mislead you to where you are going. This has been the major reason why many of us thought people are using us. Because we fail to discover destiny. When you discover destiny, the next thing that will come on board is purpose. The, another thing is vision. Another thing is your dream. Inside destiny, you find this. See anybody shining, ruling? That's someone that was privileged to discover destiny on time. So by the time you discover that, you will know that all you need to do is for you to calm down. Calm down. Because the most important thing in this life as a human being is strategic relationship. Strategic relationship. If you don't have a strategic relationship with where they are using you, you will fumble. You will leave the place. That's why we see some people, they've learned catering, they've learned fashion and designing. Now, they are learning auto mechanic. From auto mechanic, they are thinking of, ah, I think I can sing. <laughs> I think I can sing. You will see some Yoruba saying, on the call, you don't look, pa. You all are confused. Talk about it, but why you want to know what is she saying? Praise the Lord. Let us see a Bible based example. Second King. <laughs> Second King chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 1 through 15. And it came to pass when the Lord was about to take up Elijah into heaven by a wild wind that Elijah went with Elisha from Giga. Then Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, please, for the Lord has sent me to Bethel. But Elisha said, As the Lord lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they went down to better. Beloved, see strategic relationship. Listen to me. If you are, if the relationship you're having with someone, with your boss, with your friend, family member in the church, anywhere, whatever, if it's not a strategic, there's no relationship without tragedy. You will not be able to manage it. And there's no how you will not end that relationship as nothing but an apology. I overheard our mother and say, yes, when our church was just in the parlor then. Yes. I took all the church members to the prayer mountain. I was the person that put the old money down. No? I didn't call it. Thank God our father is there. I said, I'm to you. Yes, I did. I don't know. Maybe he follow us. But I'm sure Mrs. Ajumabi Mr. and uh, our blessed memory, the kindness, Kevin Joseph. We are almost 20. We are the prayer mountain. And I started praying for them that God Almighty, I want all my spiritual sons and daughters to be greater than me. Let me shock you. I mean, it's not like anybody. Am I okay? Me not bad me. Bad Ah. Hey, hey, hey. But because I have discovered my destiny, uh, the reason why you are doing balabolo, baba blue, like baba blue, is because you are just living. Only destiny will tell me, only destiny. <laughs> How many of you here, with due respect, understand what is called destiny? So tell me, only destiny. <laughs> That's where the problem lies. That's why many people are confused. You will do anyhow. It's because I've discovered destiny. I now call myself. I sat myself. I said, Tony, sit down. I'm a human being. So for me, because the most dangerous person to offend is God. So I preach to myself that, ah, hey, God, 
to him, are you sure God called you? <laughs> I said, well, what's up there? What's up there? I do not so bad. <laughs> Series of questions I asked myself. And I made up my mind. I entered into a prayer of covenant with God. I said, God, I've accepted and I've submitted. And I talked to myself, what are the things that may likely make me or cause me to misbehave? I mentioned like four or five. One of it is envy. So I made up my mind that God from today I will never be envious of anybody. With due respect, I'm saying this life. One of our father and the Lord opposed to Anselm Adibuko. His spiritual father was the first person to destroy his church. Jealousy. He labor. And the man released him. Immediately, Apostle Aslema Diboko started his church. Ha. Then, 90% of Nigerian footballers are worshipping his church. If you have been to his church, it's like stadium. Money started coming. And those people have spent money. Yeah. Money and water. So, his spiritual father became jealous. So God, he said it with his mouth. I was in one of his uh, conference, Azusa. His real father started calling church members, collecting church members' numbers. So God, the long story short, destroyed the church. So the man needs to start afresh. That's why what you don't know, you don't know. And until you know it, nothing will change. So I personally made up my mind. That no matter how God bless my spiritual son and daughter, that's why in this church, no matter how rich you are, it doesn't concern me. If you pay tight, to God be the glory. If you don't pay tight, because I've realized that Mr. Ogunso Adas' money is her money. My money is my money. And for me to be doing anything foolishly to do part is an indication that I'm a fake person. I'm not original. This is the problem with many people. We are asked, the best human being is still you. So I made up my mind. So it was very easy for me to pray that all my sons and daughters, go, let them do well. Most senior pastor can't pray that prayer. Ah. Most CEO can't pray that prayer. That's the truth. Please put your phone on silence. Because if your relationship is not strategic, the tragedy that accompany relationship will destroy you. I destroy the people involved. Because you will become emotional about it. And it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work. This has been the major reason why many people may not be fulfilled in life and in destiny. Because right from the onset, they have destroyed. But that wasn't the situation in the life of Elijah and Elisha. So follow me closely. I will soon drop the mic now. Praise the Lord. And it came to pass, when the Lord was about to take up Elisha into heaven by a wild wind, that Elijah went with Elisha from Giga. Then Elijah said to Elisha, stay here, please, for the Lord has sent me to Bethel. But Elisha said, as the Lord lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. Now the sons of the prophets who were at Bethel came out to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that the Lord will take away your master from over you today? And he said, Yes, I know. Keep silent. At every major junction of your life, you will find people that will distract you, that will discourage you. That's why you must be original from the beginning. That is the truth. They will tell you that that person is using you. <laughs> That's why many people are living a frustrated life today. And the truth is, you must be used to be useful. Because it is better.
There is no one. You may be seated. God bless you. Now, the sons of the prophet who were at Bethel came out to Elijah. I said to him, do you know that the Lord will take away your master from over you today? And he said, yes, I know. Keep quiet. Then Elijah said to Elisha, stay here, please, for the Lord has sent me on to Jericho. But she said, as the Lord lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they came to Jericho. Now the sons of the prophet who were at Jericho came to Elisha and said to him, do you know that the Lord will take away your master from over you today? So he answered, yes, I know. Keep silent. Then Elijah said to him, stay here, please, for the Lord has sent me out to the Jordan. Hmm. But he said, as the Lord lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So the two of them went on, and 50 men of the sons of the prophet went and stood facing them at a distance, while the two of them stood by the Jordan. Now Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water, and was divided this way and that, so that the two of them crossed over on the dry ground. And so it was when they had crossed over that Elijah said to Elisha, Ask, what may I do for you? Before I am taken away from you, Elisha said, Please let double portion of your spirit be upon me. So he said, You have asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me when I'm taken from you, it shall be so for you, but if not, it shall not be so. Then it happened as they continue on and talk that suddenly a chariot of fire appeared with horses of fire and separated the two of them. And Elijah went up by a white wind into the heaven. And Elisha said, and saw it, and he cried out, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and his horsemen. So he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own cloth and tore them into two pieces. He also took up the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him and went back and stood by the bank of the Jordan. Then he took the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him and struck the water and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had struck the water, it was divided this way and that way. And Elisha crossed over. I pray for someone that can jump up and shout three powerful men. After this service, before the end of this month, you will cross over. You may be seated. Beloved, <laughs> be careful. The number one enemy in this life is not Satan. <laughs> it is human being. Be careful. That's why it's very important for you to discover destiny on time. Of a truth. Mind you, theologians and Bible scholars made us believe that Elisha was comfortable. He was a successful business person before this divine mandate came. And immediately God called him, he submitted everything in totality to answer the call of God. Which narrowed down to he made himself available to be used. Remember the title of our message is, you must be used to be useful. No matter how smart you are, it does not matter your anointing. You must be used by someone, by one quarter, by certain people, you must be useful. Sons of the prophet like Elisha from different quarters try to discourage him. But because Elisha has discovered destiny. After the discovery of destiny, let me tell you one thing. Sky cannot be your limit. Sky can only be your starting point. The most important thing is have a desire. After that, make a decision. After that, have a determination. With these three, Dignity and prosperity will follow suit. This has been the basic reason why many people usually pull out. This has been the basic reason why you see many people into many things and yet they are still confused. Nothing will be gainful until it is painful. You want to be useful. <laughs> you must be used. You must be used. That was the secret of Elisha. Go and read your Bible. He did exploit than his spiritual father. 
because he submitted in totality. He made himself available to be used by God, to be used by his master, and to be used by the mandate. Where you are working, are you sure they are using you? That's why most of the celebrated gospel artists we see today ask them, including Juju artists, years back, many churches have used them. It applies to business. Hmm. I could remember vividly when I at least as, uh, watched the documentary of Jim Ovia of Zenith Bank. It started at an ordinary clerk with Ike of Assets Bank. Aha. Look at how they rose. Discover destiny. Stop playing game. A rolling stone gather no more. Because after you have discovered destiny, please stop feeding your destiny with poison. Many of us lie. Many of us drink a lot. I've told you, we have a man who was brought here, and I told the mother and the child, I said, ah, Mommy, I don't know if your child is fond of taking her drug or what I'm saying, marijuana. And the guy confessed. I said, Thus said, Spirit of the Lord, just stop it. You will get the, the opportunity will be granted. That's the essence of knowing God. That's it. And what he was trusting for, trusting God for, if you don't have like 30 million to bribe in this Nigeria of today, minimum is 10 million. You can't get it. And you must know people at the top, like major generals, retired, head of state. When God is involved, to said, you must be used to be useful. Go and submit yourself. In that organization, calm down. Make yourself available. Because many of us, we are present. We are not available. And this is very common among workers. And that's why many people are not getting result and reward. It applies to corporate organization. That's the truth. It applies to businesses. You take it up as if it is your own. You must be used if you must be useful. That was the secret of Prophet Elisha. Because when he asked, when he got to the point of asking, his master now asked him, ask him, now make your request. Say, I want the double portion of your spirit. Say, ah, you have had a very hard thing. But nevertheless, if you see me, listen to me, you want to rise, are you ready to pay the price? If you are ready, jump on your feet. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to pray this prayer. Very simple prayer point. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know the owner of this, but I can see everything turning around. Amen. Turning around. Amen. Turning around. Amen. For your good. Lift up your right hand. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord. have mercy. Pardon me of my errors. Open your mouth and talk to God. Lord, have mercy on me. Pardon me. Forgive me of my errors, mistakes, sins, iniquities. Oh Lord, have mercy and forgive me of my errors. Forgive me, pardon me. In Jesus' mighty name, shout spirit of pride and arrogance inside of me. Die. Prayers in the name of Jesus.
In Jesus' mighty name. Please learn from Apostle Aslam Adiboko. The man is all over. He's a global man of God. His spiritual father is nowhere to be found. You know yourself. I know myself. You can't put anybody in bondage, you. Except you want to deceive yourself. See, you put Tony in bondage. Now you know go have rest. Because 24-7, you'll be coming to check whether I'm still there or not. Why not release Tony? Let Tony live his life. Life is live and let other people live. You can never be successful until the people that surrounded you are successful. Then what's your stress? What's your stress? When we first started our church, I called our mother and I said, Hey, madam, what can we do? But all these pastors, they have masters. So don't feel somehow. Many of us, our problem is inferiority complex. You go to school, you don't go to school. Your destiny is intact. What's your problem? Stop living a fake life. And many people that are fond of doing this, they are the ones destroying their destiny or knowing to them. Why are you doing this? Why? Nobody heard of his spiritual father. And Slimani because it's all over. You must be used to be useful. If anybody thought he's taking advantage of you, the person is only threatening you. I'm telling you, for the best in you to come out. And the person is only being stupid, foolish, and ignorant. <laughs> On Thursday, when a uh, Christian minister, I was at where I was praying, shouting. Someone forwarded the message to me that, Papa, be, using, be making use of that woman or that you know, lady. I believe the person didn't know that she's married anyway. So I couldn't read Shankura Shudi. Praise the Lord. And I forward the message to Pastor Mrs. That is it. Does that change the fact that Pastor Mrs. is Pastor Mrs.? But some Pastor Mrs. Hey, they're my turn. I will fake by you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear my people perish for lack of knowledge. Oh, and if Christiana head is correct, she will do what? Humble and serve the more. Until you hear in here. On gara, on ikwe di gara wa. That is the truth. Because people are seeing you, that's why they are calling you. If they didn't see you, they call another person. Say, Lord, help me. I know I'm more than this. Anything in my life that is working against my greatness, Lord, help me. Help me. Take it away from me. Pray us in the name of Jesus. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Anything in my body, anything in my life, working against my greatness, Lord, help me. Take it away from me. You know yourself. Are you a proud person? Are you an envious person? Are you an arrogant person? Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. In Jesus' mighty name, put your right hand on your head. Shout, O oh Lord. Give me power and wisdom to run my life. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Lord, give me power and wisdom to run my life. You are the best human being. I'm telling you, you are the next billionaire. There's, there's not anybody I've done that you can't do. Lord, give me power and wisdom to run my life. In Jesus' mighty name, shout to my Father, my God, 
help me to make the best use of my life. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Lord, help me to, be, to make the best use of my life. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Help me to make the best use of my life. Lord, help me. In Jesus' mighty name. Close your eyes, stretch your two hands. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ah, I pray for you. For adventure, you have been used and done from today. God will make you useful. God will make you valuable. Maybe you have been used and done. I have a good news for you. The Bible says, Father and mother may forsake you, but I will not forsake you. The rewarder is alive. He will reward you. He will give you a result. Someone is in our midst, get ready for your result. Another person, get ready for your reward. Another person, get ready for our reward. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will prosper you. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will prosper you. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will prosper you. The Lord will bless you. From now, may the Lord open your eyes to see your correct version. Your true color will show. Your true color will show. Your true color will show. In the name of Jesus. Put your right hand on your chest. I'm seeing four people, four women here. I know you will not believe. I know you will not believe. And I'm seeing billions. Listen, listen now. Miss Allah, what you are one of them, Dickness Cecilia. And uh, what's your name? Okusanya, imagine. Okusanya. I know you will not believe. My daughter, Falashade. Shoma. I know you will not believe. <laughs> Holy Spirit minister to me. And I told this woman, I said, you are a billionaire. Do you look at her. Come, come, tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Do you believe that you are a billionaire? I said, Papa, I'm just praying that God should just give me money to eat, to survive. This is the poor many of us. Go and write today's day down. Along our phone on him. Along our phone on him. Even a modern day, Lord does not even believe herself. That is the truth. Along our phone on him. Shall be where? In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. But listen, whatever you know you have been doing that has been working against you, stop it. Most especially you that have been feeding your glory, destiny with poison. 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 Hey. Why are you tired? Did they thank God you are here? Why are you tired? I'm telling you the truth. It's not every man that can sleep with you. It's not every woman that a man can sleep with. Be careful. Spiritual, it's a spiritual word, so deep. So deep. Let us be careful. God bless you all.